Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is Monday and it feels like I haven't filmed in ages. It's not even been that long, like it was only a few days ago. Um, just quickly wanted to say thank you all so much for the support for the passing of Oreo. We do miss her a lot and it doesn't feel right without Oreo anymore. Um, but you guys are the best and, you know, always there to support me and, you know, it's so kind. Here are some of the parcels ready to go. I've pretty much got like another, like, almost 10 to make up. So these are just the ones that were ordered first because I kind of do it in order. Um, so yeah, these are going to go today. Hello. Hi, sweetheart. Who's under there? Oh, it's Panda. And look at Tea Cake in a little cocktail. <laughs> tea Cake permanently looks confused. I love it. Um, Roxy, Bramley, Hazel. So they're all really chilled, which is nice. There's been no arguing or anything since Sorrow's passed away. So at least that's something. Dandy Pandy, hello. <laughs> I'm not sure what you're eating. What are you eating? sleeping bag. Do you ever film anything Don't around? Turn off, give um, Just a little bit more. Yeah. It's convenient. <laughs> I've just made up a new batch of a brand new herbal blend. I've just had a massive box delivered through the post. Literally cannot get over the size of that. But these herbs are... It's kind of hard to explain, but... The herbs that I normally use are much more ground up than this and I'm so much more in love with this one because we've got loads more different like whole leaves in this one whereas normally the leaves are quite ground up and I just think this is so much better. So there's also a lot more of new ingredients in here, things that I haven't used in the previous mixes. So we've got lots of chamomile, we've got plantain, we've got... See, these hibiscus leaves are so much nicer, like the petals, so much nicer than um, the ground up ones before. Also, a new ingredient is hazel leaves. So there's all sorts going on in this mix, which we haven't had before. So pretty excited about that. And yeah, can't wait to try it out with the guinea pigs and rabbits, see how they how they like it, how they take to it. Hello, Belle. Oh, so basically, I thought it would be a good idea to clean out Belle's tank today. So this is Belle's second time in the playpen, I think. I'm taking things with taming very slowly. I just want her, I kind of wanted her to get used to me, like, um, rather than me kind of forcing the taming on her, I kind of wanted it to wait until she comes to me. And she's made massive progress. Next, I know most people will have picked them up in like the first day or the first week, but you know, just not my way of doing things really. But I know that can work. <laughs> You're reversing out the tunnel. Oh look, we have an escape here. Belle, where are you going? <laughs> I'm actually planning on um, making the playpen the other way around so she can't climb out because obviously this playpen's more designed for guinea pigs. Um, we'll do one the other way around so she can't get out. <laughs> so Belle's actually disappeared in amongst all these different bags of bedding. <laughs> so it could be a little bit of a job finding her. I can see that she's down there. Hello Belle. Right, you need to get in the carrier. How are we going to get you in? I'm worried she's going to go down there. I don't want her to go. Um, I don't want her to go down there because <laughs> it could be a challenge to get her out. So yeah, she's just rampaging like free around the room at the minute. 
So I just had this idea about having like a little topper to her tank just to give it a bit of an extension and mainly just so uh, you know got somewhere to put a bottle that's easier somewhere I could put a food bowl and I guess it's more interactive with me and as I'm trying to get her more used to me and me being around her Yeah, I thought this would be a good idea. My only problem is this gap here, but we're gonna fix that somehow. Hello, darling. You're still half asleep. <laughs> oh. See, that's the, the thing that worries me because she jumps at my hand. She did that in the pet shop. Um, luckily, we've got like a worktop, so it's all good. But obviously, that's her first time being handled. She didn't bite, so <laughs> that's something. Um, oh. So, yeah, we've got a bit of progress to make with you, haven't we, darling? But that's, you know, first stage. We've actually picked her up. Um, <laughs> I'd love to do Taming Diaries just to see how she makes progress. That's it, all the way. And can you come over here? She's obviously like, you know, still learning to trust people. She's not really had much human contact in her life at all. Um, the guy in the pet store, she was hissing at, she bit him, she was terrified, but you know, she's, she's getting there and she's working her way <laughs> into the cage. So yeah, for now I'm just gonna put her normal mesh lid on just to you know make sure it's fully secure because the other lid isn't yet. I feel like I pretty much always end up with like the more harder to handle animals but honestly I think that's fine. I think it's just about perseverance and sort of building up that trust between you and the animal. I mean my rabbits have come a la massive way since I got them. A lot of the guinea pigs were absolutely terrified when we got them but just by taking things slow it's allowed me to actually get somewhere with taming which is why I know a lot of you would think, oh, why don't you pick up Belle on like the first day you got her on, the first week and so and so, because that's the normal thing to do, right? Um, you know, within like the first few days you would expect to be handling them and stuff. Um, but <laughs> I always seem to end up with a lot of the animals which are naturally quite skittish. And a lot of them are in the adoption centers, which could be a factor in that. So we appear to have a little escapee hamster. <laughs> I was just, you know, started to do a little bit of tidying up in here. I see Belle, she's down here. There you are. Hey darling. Look, I've got some snacks. I've got some snacks. Oh, you're going the wrong way. <laughs> she's gone to see the pigs. She's literally going to see the guinea pigs. I've got a treat for you. There you go. Um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's the cutest thing. <laughs> yes, you found the food pot. Go, girl. Go, girl. So, if ever you have an escapee hamster, just get them in their food container. <laughs> And job done. So yeah, she's um, really happy at the minute because she's just like found her giant food stash. <laughs> so she's um, trying to escape again. You gotta climb on me? That's it? Are you too nervous? Want to climb on me? Are you scared? What are you scared of? Be 
careful, don't jump. Oh, I'm not kidding you guys. Roxy looks so freaked out that like she's just seen a hamster. It's funny with TK because you sort of got a stroke of her that way because it grows completely the opposite direction. I can see her little head peeping out. Look, she's checking if the coast is clear. I just wanted to give you some food. Look. It's a corn chip. <laughs> she's like, oh yeah. Yay, I'm so proud of myself for picking her up, finally, for the first time. I was so nervous she was going to jump again, but oh, there we go. First time, you did amazing. You've made so much progress today, especially for, you know, Taming Diary 1. We're proud of you, Belle. I'm just going to have to make sure you don't escape again. This is so cute. Oh, Belle. You're having a nice drink. <laughs> Hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, yeah, let me know if you'd like to see an update on the taming. Obviously, this is day one. This is, you know, going to be slow progress with this one, but I think she did well. Good girl. So, let's get that lid back on. <laughs> bye, guys. <laughs> Say bye to everyone. Bye. <laughs>